guys what is up we are back and today we are taking a look at the real world because it has been spontaneously overrun by chickens man eating squid eating chickens that's why there's no squids over here they killed them all uh, but no seriously these are just chickens um, but they have spontaneously started taking over this world and I will explain to you why I being the mad professor that I am, have found a way to bring life into this video game. Real, true-blooded life. Uh, and it is it is terrifying. Um, and by that, I mean I have found a way to make chicken eggs hatch naturally. Uh, any chicken anywhere that lays an egg will soon have a baby chick walking by its side. Here we go. Here we go. Let's watch this. Oh, oh, did you see that? Did you see that? You might have seen, you might see these little numbers popping up on the side of the screen. Oh, oh, Darwinism. That one didn't make it. Oops. We must have drowned. So, there's not really a whole lot I can do if they sink to the bottom of the ocean. They can't make it up. That, that's just natural selection right there. But, let's go ahead. All this command block right here is going to do is it's going to make this guy lay an egg. Uh, so we can get a real true view. Should take about 10 seconds. And then he should pop one out. Just keep seeing those numbers flick off to the right. That's Every time you see that, that's a new baby chicken hatching into this world. Um, I don't know if he's close enough. Chickens, I had to add a little bit, you know. I had to add, whoop, there he goes. There you guys have it. Brand new chicken. Nothing to it. Uh, I did have to add in a little bit, a little bit of censorship, uh, just so that, you know, you can't just, you guys can't just take an egg, you know, and be like, oh, I'm going to start, you know, a chicken population over here and throw it down. Hello, undies. Uh, and throw it down. It's not going to do anything. It'll just sit there for eternity. It's just an egg. But an egg near a chicken that's a different story give it 15 seconds and you got more chickens let's watch it happen one more time and we'll jump into the commands for this super simple all it takes is just these three command blocks right here that's just the clock there we go baby chicken yeah all right baby chicken all right i'm i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna kill all these all these chickens because they're they're slowing me down here oh that, that was a lot of dead chickens uh, we're just gonna get rid of all their all their stuff alright so let's jump in here start off just uh, searching for the egg here uh, let's scroll back this is gonna use scoreboard um, so the way I'm limiting it down so that you know any egg in the world isn't just gonna hatch into the chicken is these commands are all being execute, executed through chickens. So essentially a chicken has to be near the egg for any of it to work. And so right here we're executing through a chicken. We're gonna run the scoreboard command players set any player that is entity item within five blocks of a chicken so this is five blocks within range of a chicken we're gonna give it hatchling uh, just a dummy scoreboard you can name it whatever you want hatchling one and the item has to be an egg with no damage count of one and age 300 uh, now when you guys throw this in here you have to be super specific to get these S's and the B and the other S in there um, if you are like summoning an item these little values don't matter but when you're trying to detect for an item you have to make sure to have these guys in here it won't work right so essentially any egg within five blocks of a chicken uh, that has been there for 300 uh, ticks which is about um, 15 seconds will get a scoreboard value um, hatchling one and that's that's what you guys would see popping up right over here for just that split second is uh, when that egg gets that scoreboard value I've got the uh, set display uh, on um, next we're going to 
summon the baby chicken and so now we're there's a whole lot of back and forth in this um, so that your eggs aren't going to spawn multiple chickens um, and they're only you know going to spawn a chicken if another chicken's in the area just just trust me on this uh, there's a reason to all this execution madness um, so we're going to execute through any item with that scoreboard hatchling value so remember this has to be an egg has to be within a five block radius of a chicken and has to have been there for at least 15 seconds um, so it's going to execute through any of those eggs and then it's going to execute through um, a chicken and only one chicken uh, in that five block radius so essentially it's going to execute through the chicken through the egg through the chicken through the egg um, I'll post this in the description guys it's a lot simpler than it seems but so we're going to execute through that egg uh, through the chicken standing next to it and then back through the egg again uh, this is really just ensuring that if uh, there were five chickens around that egg that it's not going to spawn five baby chickens uh, that's why you need to throw that extra loop in there okay and then it's going to execute again back through the egg using this search radius to make sure that we get the right egg uh, score value minimum of one and then we are just going to summon a chicken with an age negative 24,000 uh, that's just the natural age value on a uh, baby chicken uh, if you guys don't know in order to summon baby mobs you just need to set the age as a negative value uh, it'll slowly count up and after it crosses zero they will become full grown um, and then finally all we need to do is just destroy the egg so once again here we're going to execute through that egg through the chicken okay and then back through the egg again and just run the kill all entities type equal items score hatchling underscore min equals one radius equals five and so not a whole lot to it guys uh, I will post these commands uh, down in the description this is however guys one of those ones where you need to make sure that you're getting your command blocks to fire in the right order um, otherwise you know it'll destroy the egg before it actually summons the baby one so the way that these are gonna fire is one two and then it would fire this one down here and then four and so these two are definitely oh well I'm glad that was just sign uh, is definitely going to fire these ones first uh, before it actually destroys the egg and that's about it guys uh, I'm just gonna leave you off with nice little nice little chicken reminder yeah as long as he doesn't run away they love to run away from these eggs though guys which I think adds a bit of natural selection you know if the chicken yeah see they run away from him I'm telling you that one might not even change now he just abandoned it uh, but it adds an awesome kind of natural selection feature to your game guys uh, chicken farms would become massively popular uh, you could also combine this uh, I'm thinking about doing something involving animals dying of old age so uh, combine these two together and you've got yourself some real breeding challenges stupid chicken why'd you have to abandon your egg why why chicken why alright guys I will see you on the other side <laughs>